Hey everybody, this is D Hunter bringing another action figure review. Today, we're going to look at the McFarlane DC Multiverse John Stewart Green Lantern figure. Now, this is the kind of figure I want for McFarlane. Comic characters in their iconic looks. Thank you, McFarlane. A normal looking John Stewart from the Rebirth comics. That's exactly what I want. Let's build up our Justice League team. Now, this is the second time McFarlane has made a John Stewart figure. The first one was based off the Justice League Unlimited look, and he was arguably one of the worst figures in the entire line. But it looks like they made up for that with this guy. This guy looks great. I want to give a shout out to Maverick from the Foosh Forums. He hooked me up with this figure. He found him at a Target in California. Unfortunately, they didn't have the rest of the wave. There's also a Bizarro and Infected Nightwing to look out for, and I really want to get those guys as well. Hopefully I'll find him at Target in the near future. So let's go ahead and check out the packaging here. As you can see at the top, 22 moving parts, McFarlane Toys, HS12+, plus, DC Multiverse, Green Lantern, John Stewart. Here he is in the package. Looks like he comes with a display stand, a collector's card, and two constructs, a backpack, and a minigun. One side, John Stewart, Rebirth. Other side, simply Green Lantern, John Stewart. At the bottom, there's a bunch of credits and a barcode, in case that helps anybody. Then the back, here he is posed up from the comic. And here are a bunch of other DC Multiverse figures you should keep an eye for. So with no further ado, let's open him up. Alright, now that we got this figure out of the package, here he is with all his accessories laid out. He has a display stand, a collector's card, and some construct items. He's got a minigun, a backpack, and removable armor. But before we take a look at the accessories, let's take a look at the actual figure. So here's Jon Stewart from the Rebirth comics, must say. Face looks excellent. His eyes look perfectly painted. He's got a little, I don't know, scar looking thing between his eyebrows. I don't know if that's intentional or if mine just has a little cut there. Going around, hair, his line looks pretty good. Mine has a little bit of brown in the back here, not that big a deal. He's got this transparent armor that appears to be removable. He's going to have a regular Green Lantern suit under there. A little bit of armor look to it but it looks very iconic. I like it a lot. I really want to Hal Jordan like this as well. Going further down, of course, got double jointed elbows, double jointed knees. You can see the different texture on this guy, different material and different sort of pieces. I like it. Overall, looking pretty cool. Way better than the Justice League John Stewart, that's for sure, the cartoon version. And here he is, broken down as far as he can go with all of his removable parts detached. Now let's check out his accessories, and let's start with the boring stuff. Here's his display stand, typical McFarlane stand, black perfect circle, DC on the bottom, one peg for the pegles on his feet, very thin, very basic. Now let's look at his collector's card. This is a replica of the cover of Justice League number 6, the variant cover, and it just so happens I have this book right here. Now let's look at his armor. This is made of a semi-transparent soft plastic. It's bendable. It's got some shoulder pads here. You'll be able to see his Green Lantern symbol through here. And it has a hole so you can attach his backpack. Here he is without the armor. And this is going to be my preferred look for him. And here he is with the armor attached. Fits on him very nicely. Now let's look at his backpack. This is also made of a transparent plastic. It's got a peg to go into the peg hole on his back. Kind of interesting they would make a construct backpack. I guess this goes with his minigun, but you wouldn't think he would need that. Seems kind of an odd thing to do. Here he is wearing the backpack. You could even use this backpack as a back bling for your McFarlane Fortnite figures. Fits on them very well. Now let's look at his minigun. This is also made in a transparent plastic. Very appropriate. His hand's probably going to go through here. Thing looks pretty cool. Definitely an appropriate construct for a fight. Here he is holding the minigun. Can use his right hand to hold the trigger and his left hand to support the weight from the top. And here he is utilizing one of McFarlane's DC Multiverse flight stands. And I was curious if he could utilize the previous McFarlane John Stewart's construct weapon. This is the animated version. And yes, he can hold this other accessory. 
it looks pretty nice. You just have to turn his hand this way to be able to shove it into the hole. And here he is, holding a Mattel DC Universe Classics Lantern. And here, with a NECA Lantern. And I was able to take this NECA Power Ring Energy Accessory and put it between his fingers. It looks really good and fits pretty well. And you can utilize NECA's longer energy as well. Looks great on this guy. And if you wanted him to use the bat constructs that came with Dawnbreaker, that'll work as well. Now that we've taken a pretty good look at both the figure and his accessories, now let's check out his height. From bottom to top, he's sitting at about 6.9 inches tall, which is going to translate to about 17 and a half centimeters. Now let's check out his articulation. Let's start with his head here. Of course, it can rotate from side to side. You can look up and down about that much. Can't tilt his head, giving him a good amount of personality. Shoulders on a ball joint go out considerably more than 90 degrees, up, down, around, all that good stuff. There's a butterfly joint between the shoulder and chest, increasing that range of motion there. Bicep cut below that, double jointed elbows below that. His wrists can rotate and it's going to be hinged as well. He's got a ball joint, his torso can rotate around, go forward and back. Another ball joint as waist can also rotate around. Got this soft goods overlay covering up the joint, giving him a very wide range of motion between both ball joints. Legs only seem to go out about this far and go a little further. Got to kind of rotate them. Not a ball joint, but a similar type concept. There is a little bit of rotation, better than nothing. Then go forward that far, back that far. Double jointed knees below that. And then his ankle here goes forward and back. It can rotate. It can tilt and rock. And there's toe articulation. Here's Batman and John Stewart taking on Dawnbreaker. And here's the Rebirth of Justice League taking on Darkseid. You see Batman, John Stewart, Green Lantern, The Flash, and Superman. Hopefully they'll come out on top. Now let's check them out, next to some other action figures, starting off with some other McFarlane DC Multiverse figures. Here he is, next to McFarlane's Justice League Unlimited John Stewart. And here he is, next to the Dawnbreaker, a Batman Green Lantern hybrid for the Dark Multiverse. And now, next to the comic accurate Rebirth Justice League members McFarlane has made so far. Bring on some more. And here's my entire McFarlane DC Multiverse collection including all the different variants. I have a total of 59 different figures and two vehicles, and I'm not even fully caught up. Things that people are finding that I don't have yet would be the rest of Jon Stewart's wave, Infected Nightwing and Bizarro, and then people are also finding the Red White Knight Batman, the Golden Hellbat, and people just started finding the Injustice Flash and Gorilla Grodd. Now let's check them out. Next is some other Green Lantern figures. Here are all the McFarlane DC Multiverse Green Lanterns they've made so far. Then, next is some NECA Green Lantern figures. These are some of the nicest Green Lantern figures I've ever seen. They both have a Jon Stewart, McFarlane, and NECA. Which one do you guys think is better? Drop me a line in the comments below. And here he is, next to some DC Direct and DC Collectibles Green Lantern figures. Then with some Mattel, DC Universe Classics, and Multiverse Green Lantern figures. Here are all my different Jon Stewart Green Lantern figures that I have. And here's my entire Green Lantern collection. Here he is, next to all my yellow lanterns. And technically, this Batman is wearing a black lantern ring. Now let's check him out, next to some action figures from different various companies, to see how he fits in, both scale and style-wise, in case you want to know which lines you can mix him with. Here he is, with some of his McFarlane Toys brothers, in front of you are five different action figure lines, all from McFarlane Toys, all 7 inch scale. And here he is, next to some DST or Diamond Select Toys. Then, next to some DC Direct and DC Collectibles figures. And here, with some NECA figures. Then, with some Mattel wrestling figures. And here he is, next to some Mezco 112th Cloth Soft Goods action figures. Then with some Mattel, DC Universe Classics, and Multiverse figures. And here, 
next to some Mayfax figures, then with some Hasbro Marvel Legends, and here he is next to some SH figure arts action figures, and finally here he is next to some Jazzwares Fortnite figures. So overall, this is a very nice action figure. He looks great. He moves great. His accessories are really good as well. This is exactly what I want for McFarlane Toys. An iconic, not necessarily classic version of the comic characters. This is a regular Jon Stewart from the Justice League. Thank you McFarlane for not making a Jon Stewart from Earth negative 248 or something like that. Don't get me wrong, I very much enjoy the Dark Knight Metal stuff, but I want some standard comic characters. So if I were to rate this guy, I'd give him a very strong 8 out of 10. This guy looks fantastic and is a great addition to my action figure world. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I will talk to you guys real soon.